Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Very successful demonstrations were held across the country. And that only means that William Ruto's withdrawal of the finance bill 2024 did not pacify Kenyans. It was not enough. And if you listen to Kenyans who are out on the streets today, they were demanding for the resignation of Ruto. Ruto must go. And that proved it to me beyond any reasonable doubt that the finance bill was just but a trigger. Kenyans have got serious issues against Ruto. So they want Ruto to go. And irrespective of what Ruto will do, the ultimate goal is for Ruto to go. That's why protests did happen today across the country, including even in William Ruto's strongholds. And if you look at Ruto, Ruto is coming out as being very emotional. He normally acts without looking at the bigger picture. Ruto unleashing the military on the streets against demonstrators, in my honest opinion, was a premature move by Ruto. He released the military way too early. And not only the military, we are now seeing government goons being unleashed against some demonstrators. In Eldoret, the town today was all goons. Goons occupied Eldoret town. Let's have a look at the story as captured by the nation. NTV Kenya, armed goons patrol streets, rough up anti-finance bill advocates in Eldoret. Groups of more than 300 young men armed with baton and other crude weapons were Thursday spotted roaming and patrolling the streets of Eldoret town, harassing and roughing up on lookers, those perceived to be against the finance bill 2024. The armed men beat up those who were seen taking pictures and recording their activities. According to locals, the group appeared to have many new faces, suggesting that they may have been brought in from outside. They emerged in the town on Wednesday, where they spent the day walking up and down the street singing ritualistic songs and performing traditional prayers that resembled war cries and cleansing rites following Tuesday's chaotic protests, which resulted in running battles, the destruction of buildings and the looting of property. At some point during Wednesday's processions, a section of the group emerged with a new wheelbarrow painted in the colors of the United Democratic Alliance Udam and erected it in a new location at the Togadero roundabout on the Kapsabed Kisumu Highway. The armed groups had gathered at the county government headquarters early in the morning where they held a meeting before patrolling the streets with their buttons. Later in the afternoon, they reconvened at the county government headquarters where they reportedly handed over the crude weapons. At the time of going to press, the armed groups were still holed up in a meeting at the county government headquarters as anti-riot police watched from a distance. That's what happened in Eldoret. Wounds were all over, sprawling the streets of Eldoret, roughing innocent Kenyans who were probably demonstrating. 
And we are being told that before they took the streets, they convened at the county headquarters. And later in the afternoon, when they were through, they went back to the county headquarters. So it's very clear, these were county governments sponsored goons on behalf of Kenya Kwanzaa government. And we still remember, after the 2007 post-election violence, Moreno Ocampo brought out this network of unorganized crime. And William Ruto was accused as being the head. If you had looked at the structure, according to Moreno Campo, Ruto was at the head, and then below him were his service team and some organizers. And this one of was in Gishu. I'm very sure that this structure can clearly be established. Those who are Kenya Kwanzaa's goons. That what happened in Eldore town. And even today in Nairobi, I was in the CBD today. And I also spotted a similar pattern in some parts of Nairobi's CBD. In fact, these people were walking with some stakes. Kais is a jembe. And they were actually roughing up innocent Kenyans who are demonstrating. So it appears that the policy of Kenya Kwanzaa, they have failed to contain these peaceful innocent demonstrators. So they are trying to use wounds to contain the peaceful demonstrators. And that's something that personally I knew would come. And I'm saying that because in other countries where we have seen revolutions, the government starts by using the police. If the police fails, they unleash the goons. If the goons fail, then they unleash the army. Or they can unleash the army and then the goons at the same time. But normally they do those at some advanced stages. But it appears in a William Ruto's government, William Ruto has gone for the last options way too early when this thing is just but starting. So I see that as a very big blunder or it can be a sign that already William Ruto is cornered. He does not have any other option but to use the military and to use the goons. And that again signals that this is a moribund government, a government that is soon collapsing. If you listen to these demonstrators across the country, they are all saying Ruto must go. It's no longer about the finance bill. They are saying Ruto must go. That only means Kenyans have lost trust and confidence in Ruto. The only thing that will pacify Kenyans is for them to see Ruto dissolving parliament and calling for fresh elections. Any person in this government, be it regarded be it the members of parliament, Kenyans collectively have lost trust in these individuals. And William Ruto has already laid out all his cards on the table. He has unleashed the army. He has also unleashed the wounds. That's the worst he could have done. But already he has shown Kenyans his worst part. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. In our next analysis or in our subsequent videos, we are also working on some interesting videos where instead of the army beating up protesters, the protesters embraced the army and it was a mutual, cordial kind of a relationship. Something that we have never seen with the police. And again, in the recent days, we have seen the army fighting the police. What happened today where demonstrators, the protesters, embraced the army 
that speaks volumes. Let's meet in our next analysis. And to any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Thank you. God bless you.